morning, everybody, and uh, thanks for joining my sessions. I'm not kind of fully prepared to be kind of give you the full place uh, magic view of, of what is happening in the AI world. But yeah, so so the the topic that I'm uh, today is presenting about the how we can leverage the artificial intelligence for the pair programming. So uh, let me introduce myself. So I'm Asutosh Pradhan, uh, lead architect at Capgemini. Um, I am a software architect in nature, which over 18 years of experience in designing, developing, and maintaining complex software systems. Um, so, well, I'm very excited to present uh, the GitHub Copilot, which is anyway you guys know about, uh, called as an AI pair programmer, and how it helps us to become more efficient and effective in our development effort. So uh, be before I start, do any, does anybody know what is pair programming is? Can anybody? Yeah, you can. All right. So it's, it's a quite uh, simple and uh, quite and well known to everybody. So it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a programming things, technique, where two programmer sitting side by side, setting the single workstation, and setting the same code base, so that you'll get a early feedback of your, uh, whatever you are developing, and somebody will sitting behind you and say that, hey, you are doing something wrong, or you are writing, not following the best practices. So it's a technique which will help you to kind of write a better programming or better uh, coding practices. But there are three aspects here which we need to be identified that why the pair program is quite important and quite, uh, uh, you can say, quite uh, uh, informative is that it's first, it reduces the error and it improves the code quality by providing a second set of eyes while you're doing the coding. And also secondly, it promotes collaboration and knowledge sharing because being, being a, if you are sitting with, with your architect or with your senior developer or with your tech lead, they have the much more knowledge about that, so they can able to share the knowledge knowledge on, on, on your uh, coding style. And also, it's basically, it helps to identify and address issues early in the development process, which leads to the kind of save some time for the longer run because it's already been issues in identified and in the later part of your time, so you, you can able to give your energy for different perspective of the business uh, things. Okay, so now we, we uh, get to know about the pair programming as, I, as the next thing is what is called or what is GitHub Copilot. So why I say about the pair programming because G GitHub Copilot is known as a pair programmer. So, uh, uh, does anybody like about uh, science fiction movies? If yes, so you can say, <laughs> thanks, thanks for raising your hand. Um, it, it's GitHub Copilot is nothing but like as a sci-fi movie. So it's an AI pair programmer, and uh, it uses OpenAI Codex. It's well known to everybody, whoever using the G chat GPTs and all. So it uses the OpenAI Codex so that and it's basically uh, read your mind. It's, it's uh, capable enough to read your mind while you write any code. It's, it's just thinking about, oh, you're type, typing something, giving a context. So it will be kind of giving a suggestion while you type your code. So let's see that how it works normally. So as I mentioned, GitHub Copilot is trained on OpenAI Codex model, and it trained on the billions lines of public codes and it when you provide any context for, for example if you are um, writing an fx class or fetching an image using the javascript right so what will happen you type something like um, i wanted to um, read an image from uh, google.com for example so you type in a single english language or english de descriptions so when you provide that what will happen this uh, GitHub Copilot read your context 
provide a suggestions to you. So that might be, it would be useful to you or it might, might be kind of, you just need to be modify something. When you do the modifications, that means the pilot, GitHub co-pilot, it's thinking about that you are changing something on top of that. So it learns also from you. It's a two-way conversation kind of. It's not that only co-pilot is providing the con uh, uh, context, but it also reading your context and training itself. So, uh, and now if, by saying that, so now onwards, whenever you are writing any code and posting in the public forum like GitHub or Git or something, it, might, it, it must be more careful because same thing will be, might be coming back to you sometimes when you are typing something, right? So you need to be more, uh, uh, make a practice to write a good coding things. Okay, um, so we know about pair programming, we get to know about what is GitHub Copilot. So let's learn about what is the features of uh, GitHub Copilot. So there are quite a few, uh, so I just listed down a, 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 a small number of that. So it's provide a course, course suggestion. So the course suggestion, like it has been um, trained with, within the machine learning algorithm. So it read your context and give you a course suggestion for that. And it's well integrated with your, uh, your own IDs like Visual Studio Code or VS Code and also uh, other IDs like NetBrain or something. And uh, also it, it, it able to do your natural language input. The mean said natural language input in the sense. So you can write your code or you can write your things in a plain English descriptions. So uh, Copilot is intelligent enough to read your descriptions and able to provide a suggestion for you. Uh, similarly for the context error suggestion, so it have, if you have a long uh, kind of maybe 50 lines or 100 lines or 200 lines of code and in between, if you are typing something, okay, you wanted to create a new method, uh, so what will happen? It will kind of read the entire context of your, of your class or of your JavaScript file, so it will try to understand at what context you are asking about and it will give you the uh, output of that. So, and it also, as I mentioned, it also take the suggestions from you. Whenever you are editing the uh, details, it will provide the, take the suggestion from you guys as well. And the privacy, if I say about, it won't uh, take the data from the private repositories. That's what the uh, Git, GitHub guys are quoting about. It won't cross any kind of private repositories uh, or don't, don't take the code from there. And the last one, it's very interesting to me because Many people are not uh, native English speaker, right? So they can type their uh, uh, description or the context in their own language so that the co-pilot co is intelligent enough to um, read the context in their own language and provide you the suggestion for that. So that's very interesting to me. So, um, so these are the few features uh, I just wanted to understand. Let's, I just, before I jump into this analysis, um, why, why this analysis is very important, because I just wanted to tell a story about that, um, for example, a group of developers is developing a very popular e-commerce website, right? But take an example of Amazon. What they normally wanted to do. So they wanted to model a uh, product catalog, they, the orders, how to ordering that uh, product, the shopping basket, and uh, the shipment tracking, and any other business perspective of, uh, of the e-commerce website, right? So let's uh, imagine, or let's take an example of the product catalog. So where do you want your developer to focus on? Is it on how to present, how to write a, code to get the data or get, get the data from database and, uh, and surfaces to the front end, or you wanted to be focused on kind of how to um, provide the right product to the right customer with respect to the business, right? Because surfacing the right product to the right customers, it's quite important equally with while you are writing the code. So let the, uh, Copilot help you to do that, the thinking about 
that how to uh, query the database and how to product how to uh, surface the product Wh and let you be free to think about different business aspect or the problem the business can face so by doing that so the, what will happen business will be happy on 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 your side that yeah so people are, who is working on, on, on my side, they're thinking on my aspect of how to resolve the problems, rather to be thinking about that. So if you can't imagine, so I was just reading an article that based upon the sales stock, uh, I think maybe the stock overflow 2002 report, a single devel a developer is spending 30 minutes of your day to searching the code in Google or, or maybe Stack Overflow or somewhere else. So in, 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 in comparison to the 50 developers, 50 to 60 developers in common, it will be around like uh, you can say six, 300 to 650 hours they're spending or they're losing, it, losing in a day. So here it comes to the GitHub Copilot, it helps you to do the, do the jobs better when they are free of their minds, like the, their working memory would be free of thinking about the business problems, rather to be uh, focusing on how, how to write the code, or what to do, do, do on that stuff. So the, the numbers speak itself. So you can see that uh, using the co-pilot, so 70, 80% of the people are more product, 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 uh, productive and 74% uh, 70, of the people or the developers are satisfying on their work and 87% uh, of the 80% uh, of the people are more efficiency and effective in in their day-to-day uh, -day activities or or de development mode so there is the second is also the speed so normally this github copilot has done some kind of exercise with few people they have given GitHub Copilot to few users and, uh, Git and non GitHub uh, and other users are using normal, normal development uh, tools. So within an hour, uh, they can able to finish when whoever are using the Copilot and uh, whoever is using, not using the pilot. So they are spending two hours and 40, 41 minutes to simple uh, doing the tasking of writing a web service in JavaScript. So, so based upon these numbers, you can imagine that how GitHub Copilot is very much helpful in our day-to-day -day, uh, life. Okay, um, so now the, uh, how do we set up this uh, GitHub Copilot? It's very simple. First of all, you need to have a GitHub account. So I think everybody has, all of us has that account normally. We post our code. Uh, or for the repository perspective. So you need to have a GitHub uh, account. And so for now, it's not, not kind of a, it's a, maybe a one month of free. So you can have to be registered or you can have to be, um, uh, utilize your, uh, pem uh, provide your payment details. Uh, then it will be charged. I think there are uh, coming in the two varieties, one on individual basis, you can able to uh, catch your individual and on, on the uh, business, uh, also, like like uh, as a company, they can able, able to purchase that as well. And for that, once you uh, get everything set up in the GitHub side by providing a details and all, so we need to be install. It's it's a uh, the screenshot is is from my uh, Visual Studio VS Code um, from the VS Code. So I have installed two things. Everybody is knows about that um, GitHub Copilot, so you just need to be install this one, this extension. Along with that, there is a one more very interesting one, which GitHub Copilot Labs. So it, I'll, I'll show you in the next, I have a videos where how this will help us in more in terms of our refactoring of our code or suggesting more in a in a better way. But keep in mind that this GitHub Copilot is not the replacement of anybody's developer, or though it's it's help us to make make more productive, but it's not uh, not for to kind of uh, any kind of best practices because it's you need to be because uh, being a human being, you are more um, our brain brain is more trained in terms of uh, thinking of complex business scenario, right? So where in uh, the co-pilot may not be helpful on, on that perspective. So think about on, on that side as well. 
Okay. Um, so I'll show you a demo. Uh, I have recorded that in terms of what we can see that not only the the co-pilot will uh, tell you about suggesting about the about the code or the function and everything. You can able to quickly ask the some kind of questions like if you want to understand what is the solid things pool or what is LWCs or what is Apex classes or bit of a kind of uh, thinking before if you wanted to learn also some before you start your coding so you, you, this will help help you to do that as well and also auto completion uh, entire function or the lines of code it will help you to do that and we can see that how github loves that make your code more robust by uh, asking the suggestions and how can if if you have written a bigger method in in a, for example in a javascript it will also help you to modularize or split into the different sort of form so uh, while you, you you yourself doing that it will take a some lot of time um, and other function as well so in the in the interest of time i'll just play a video Playing? Okay. So the, uh, when I say the ask anything, so uh, if you wanted to learn some uh, context of your uh, program or you wanted to do something uh, to understand some features of your uh, coding things, so you can able to ask that quickly so that it will be give you the answers in a, in a quicker manner. So, so I'll just quickly just make it a bit uh, forward so that I will save some time. Oh, no. oh, sorry. Can I ask you a question about the run? Yeah. How much do you think is up to date, like in terms of the development of Salesforce ecosystem over the past two years has been quite hectic? And yeah. Um, so, as everybody knows, right? OpenAI is is kind of trained till 2021, and so it will be suggesting you the details from 2021 as well. Which unfortunately makes this yeah. irrelevant. So, yeah. So, so there is a uh, new version is coming off on the Copilot, which is called GitHub Copilot X. So it will train on uh, GPT-4. GPT-4 as well, so it will be more towards kind of relevant to the 2022 uh, till 2022. So it's it's kind of closer to that. So still it has some glitches on that. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm not able to forward or make make things forward. So I don't know um, whether. playing, but uh, I just wanted to make is playing, no? So you know that. So anyway, uh, I don't know why it's not playing. Yeah, so um, so I just wanted to show the quickly, not sure what's happening today. Hopefully you are not able to read the things, but I can show you quickly over here. So the one wh what I have, I, have, uh, I have recorded, it's on everything here. I just have done one by one asking the questions. So it will be providing me the same answers on this one. And similarly, I have been kind of suggesting, uh, I have been kind of asking this, this context. Ab sorry, was there? Is it gone? Sorry. OK. So what's happened? I just have written some FS classes and asked him to write a contact services that c uh, classes and contact some or enable method which is to get contacts, update contacts, and deleting the contacts. And I have also one more intelligence thing I have done that. I just ha ask 
what is check the DML permission before updating the records. So what it is providing me uh, anyway, it will be giving me the result of writing all these things uh, in, 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 in a nicer format. So it will be um, uh, providing me the code of enter everything and as well as the all the code has this uh, ease update or the, this, this uh, DML uh, check format. So it's, it's, it's auto-generated. Sorry, I'm not able to play the videos. It will taking longer time. So it's already been uh, two minutes left about that. So I'll quickly show you that. So what about the GitHub uh, Copilot Lab? You can see that whenever you are, uh, if you wanted to do something, you just select it and make it more robust. That means it will take the things from, from, from the uh, internet and uh, provide you the suggestion for that. Similarly, you can do the chunking, what, what I was uh, talking about, the modularization of that. So it will be kind of bigger code. It will be divided and mo uh, more split into the smaller format. So this about that. You can play around this on, 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 on your own time, taking time. So it's a quite nicer tools, which will give you the better uh, feedback and uh, the perspective. And also, it will be, if you wanted to, uh, uh, wanted to explain that you don't know what is this all about, right? So if you ask them to explain this one, so it will be explain you uh, about this particular code. So it's a nicer format of if you if a new developer is coming in and doesn't understand what you have written, so it will be explaining you that uh, what is all all written in this particular code. Okay, yeah, you can see that if I close this, you can see that it's. Uh, it, it's quietly uh, given you the explanation of, of this one. So similarly, all the things like, uh, like this is the trigger, it's been written over there, and the test classes automatically generated from here uh, uh, using, the, using this GitHub Copilot. Um, so it, it's all, it, it's not, I have not written anything in the single lines of code over here. I just provide the context based upon that. The co-pilot has given me the, all the details by, by, uh, by analyzing my intention, what I'm trying to do that. Um, so in the interest of time, I'll just quickly um, go to my, uh, so the points to be considered here, um, that though it's, it's uh, helping us to be do more productivity and efficient in our day-to-day -day activities, uh, and uh, it will save some time and the code qualities and improve and access to the vast lines of code from the public uh, trend code. But there is also a, some kind of glitches. As I mentioned, it's, it's lack of human creativity. Like human can think of more complex scenario where these guys cannot help us in, the, in, that, in that matter. And also, it a lack, lack of understanding of our code context. So sometimes it happens that if, if you type something, it will give you some kind of jargon getting from the data. So what you need to do, you need to be again, redo the things, re-asking about the, the whole context. OK, no, you need to provide more context into that. Then only it will be able to understand and give you the perspective of that. And uh, so as, as the gentleman asked the question about uh, it's, it's a trend on limited data till 2021. So after that, beyond that, so it won't able to help you out or provide you the more details in terms of that. And the more uh, important thing is dependence on the internet. So it, it won't, uh, without internet, it won't work. So you need to have a connectivity of the internet to do that. All right, so my thought on this one is basically it's, uh, it's very much helpful on your day-to-day -day activities to uh, help you to write the code and provide the suggestions, write the uh, entire function of the code itself. And it also helps to design uh, the developers to code faster and efficient. And, uh, and the last, but the not, not the least, which is GitHub Copilot X. That will be an, the feature that X marks, they call as a feature. Uh, innovations they wanted to do. It's not revealed that what innovation they wanted to do. It's something about, you can check it out in the Google. It's some, some talks about uh, the, that's, that's a GitHub Copilot X. So it has the, with the chart and terminal inter interfaces coming off. 
And uh, so where you can able to, like ChatGPT, you can able to provide your chart uh, information and then you'll get to know your, you'll able to uh, get your answers quickly. That's all, thank you, thank you for my side. And thanks for attending my session and patiently listening to me. Eden with Salesforce is a game changer, an easy to use financial package that provides advanced features that you simply can't get from Xero or QuickBooks. It's based on a simple truth that integrating your finance and CRM systems on Salesforce is efficient. All your data is in one place. There are no integrations. Dashboards deliver your reporting without complicated Excel spreadsheets. Native Salesforce automates the mundane. Implementation is quick in one VAT quarter and minimal training is required. There are three versions, free forever, economy and business class, which adds more sophisticated features and multi-companies. And it's all backed up with a 12 month, no argument, money back guarantee. Thank you for listening.